Do you remember that girl you dated in high school? I started out with her warm, soft smile and the promise of being not simply lovers, but best friends. In the beginning, the two of you would horseplay around, wrestling on the living room floor as the dog howled in protest, or the little punches to your side or shoulder that ended in sweet kisses. Then after a week or so, she started hitting you for things she didn't like about you, calling you stupid or ignorant for your beliefs and telling all your intimate secrets to the other kids at school in an effort to embarrass you a little. She used to find ways to make you jealous with other guys. She noticed you were spending more time with other kids and purposely leaving you out of stuff you used to do with your longtime circle of close friends. That's when things started turning really bad. She would come over and blatantly steal stuff from you and call you crazy if you questioned it. She turned your friends against you and told you that it was for your own good and that you didn't need them. She got you expelled from school when she insisted to the principal that the weed she got caught with was yours and that you were selling it to other kids to pay for your child porn addiction. That night she spent hours on the phone convincing you that you needed mental help and that the memories you had were all incorrect. You started to seriously question your own personal sanity. After you found out she was regularly sleeping with your dad and your older sister all along, she set you up and framed you for the murder of that homeless guy over at Park Avenue and stole a cop car and left your wallet on the dashboard. She did reach out to you during the first couple months of your 40 year prison term, but mostly to tell you about all the Hollywood actors she'd been hooking up with and sending pictures of herself on vacation in the Caribbean with her parents with her hand down your mom's pants. This was before you had the strength to function after the prison doctor shared with you the diagnosis of your multiple incurable STDs and the minor strokes you were having in your sleep at night. I couldn't have said it better myself, uh, Chris. No. Golf with your friends is arguably the worst game ever created. I've had more fun playing single player offline games with more repetitive gameplay than this. And that says a lot because my taste in games is literally I at the to top of the pyramid. Like I it is I as have high a lazy as it day gets. Sleep. Collide with me, daddy. And that was a phenomenal shot by Spitty. Now he is. Seems just to be sitting on the green waiting not sure what he's waiting for exactly oh here comes jesse now oh oh my it seems that speedy has just hit jesse's ball out of bounds did you get in yep where oh <gasps> <laughs> i'm back at the fucking start reason number two do i really need to give any more reasons you little slut Yeah, that's the whole video. Sorry, guys. <laughs>